Hi everyone, welcome back to the Village Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming Using Java. Now let's do something a little bit different here, because right now all the algorithms we are writing, we are just inputting little values directly into the, the code. This is what we call, we are hard coding values. Hard coding value means that you are writing the code directly into your software, making it quite difficult to change. Now, what are we going to do here is we're going to learn how we can input data. How can we ask data uh, to be typed in the console? Let's create here a new class. Input data. Uh, let's put 0, 1. Yes, VM. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is use something that Java provides us. So since Java is a programming language that's quite big, one of the things that the programming language will do for you is try to automate most of the tasks that you have to do. So for example, do you want to sort some data? Okay, Java is there for you. Do you want to store data that are similar together? Well, Java is there for you. If you want to read data from your keyboard, well, Java is also there for you. But it's a little bit different because the way we are going to do here, we didn't learn. And you're going to learn in the Java 1 for all course, but basically, this is what you have to do. First, you have to type scanner. As the string, a scanner is a type of variable. So in Java, it's difficult to explain but without going through a lot of other concepts. But in Java, we have two types of variables. We have what we call primitive types. It's everything that you write down that it will become blue. And we have the reference types. So reference types, like string is a reference type and scanner is a reference type. They are all types that are not primitive and basically they are other classes. So you can see, you can go inside and see how it, it was developed. But for now, let's do this something. Let's just click here. And it's very important that you see that you have this import here. So let's say scanner. And since we are declaring a variable, you can give any name. I'm giving the name input, but I can give X. I can give uh, G, I can give uh, Goku, for example. So the name should be something that you're going to understand what is the purpose. Now, if you do not have this import here, or if you forget, for example, to, to add, you will see that IntelliJ is telling you, hey, um, this is a bit wrong. But if you just hover your mouse over, IntelliJ is going to tell, hey, uh, would you like to import this? In this case, we just have to press out enter, and then you have this import class. Okay, so basically we are telling, hey, I would like to use the code of this scanner. And then we have to do something else. So we have to create here a new scanner. So basically Java is an object-oriented language that works with objects. And this is how you create an object in Java. Don't worry about this concept right now because we have like 50 videos explaining what is object. So the second thing that we need to do after use new is have this. Okay, so this is what you have to do. You have to first use the word scanner. Secondly, you have to import. Then you can give any name you want, it doesn't matter. And then you have to remember to use like this. So this is how we are going to declare a way to read input from our keyboard. So this is kind of something that you have to remember. There is no other way. You have to remember this line. Okay, so how can we actually read something? If I execute this program now, Ctrl Shift F10, nothing is going to happen. It started and then it finished. Now to read something from the keyboard, basically what you have to do is call input and then you have different options. You have to read from a type. For example, do you want to read string? You have input.next. Do you want to read integers? You have input.next int. Do you want to read doubles? Next double, float, next float, boolean, next boolean. So you have to tell Java what is the type that you are going to input in the terminal. So let's start very simple with input next so what this is going to do you're going to see that i'm going to add here program finished so i'm going to first execute this and you're going to see that this will not be printed so Control shift f10 
And then can you see the program is running, but I don't see this message. Why is that? Because Java is waiting for us to input something here and press enter. And then the program will be finished. If I add a breakpoint here and I press Shift F9, what's going to happen? You see, the breakpoint was not executed. If I type something here and I press enter, then you can see it continued the flow. So basically, what this input.next, next double, next integer, next float is going to do is wait for an input and then it's going to store somewhere. Right now, we are not storing, storing this data anywhere. So we are inputting and then it's being lost in memory. But then we can do something. We can say, hey, just type here. Just put whatever you get from the input inside a variable called name. So if we execute now, Ctrl Shift F10, it's going to store that in memory. The program was finished, but we are not using. Let's just add then the name here. So program finished name typed plus name and then control shift f10 you see still waiting and then over here william and then program finished name typed william so how can we know that we are actually waiting for someone to type and what they actually have to type well we just have to add a message just add a salt here and then a nice message please type your name and now when we execute ctrl shift f10 we have here please type your name we type our name and then the program was finished this is the name that was typed what happens if you want to also read let's say an age well very simple do you want to store this age somewhere of course we want to store somewhere let's uh, save this into a variable and let's call input since this is an integer what happens if i put the dot next here we have a problem why because dot next is going to store a string but we have an integer and as you can see they cannot convert the the type int to string that's why we should use the proper type next int so if i execute now you're going to see we have to type our name, then we type here, I'll type my name. You see that the program is waiting for something. It's waiting for the age. Since we didn't give a message, we are still stuck in the line number eight. So I'll add here 12, the program was finished. So what do we have to do? We have to add a nice message. Salt. Now, type your age. And then I'm going to add here, so the name, typed then let's uh just rename here the strings so actually the name was this one control alt l format your code and here we have the age and the age is where it's here so control shift f10 let's see so please type your name william now type your age and then we have here name and age so as you can see this is how you input data on your program through your keyboard but you have to be very careful for example type your name if i put any number it's okay why because number can be a string for java it's just considering the number a string but now we are expecting an integer if someone types something like this and press enter this cannot be considered a number so we have an exception so we don't know how to handle exceptions now and we don't have to handle this kind of exceptions because honestly these days nobody is using um, data from the keyboard like this it's very difficult to find a program that you have to input data directly from your keyboard so we're not just going to handle we are just always going to input something correctly so what do you have to do remember from this class how to create scanner name of whatever you want make sure you import if you don't import you don't have to import manually that's why intellij is there for you just come here you can either uh i'm not sure if you press f1 nope not f1 you can press 
this button here yeah i'm pretty sure that we had like a shortcut but i'm not sure where the shortcut is so you can import this class by pressing either here or alt shift enter let's try alt shift enter or alt enter it also works the third thing is you need to use new scanner and system.n so you need to use this is the syntax it needs to be this way and then it depends of what you want if it's a string next and then if it's not string next uh in something okay so i think that's it for this video in the next one let's go back to the last exercise and let's use scanner to input the the age so see you in the next exercise bye bye